The major input I remember from my induction year was from a hundred yards away, somebody gave me a thumbs up to say, yes, I'm fine, I've passed. And that was any contact I already had with anybody who, thought, who made a comment on how good my teaching was. Today, it's just so vastly different, I think, and quite rightly, it's much more professional. The support that we offer to newly qualified teachers, the importance we place on the induction programme, because not only do we want to recruit good teachers, but we also want to retain good teachers. Here at Greenshaw High, Mike's got hoops to jump through to carry on teaching in this country. Danielle's on course to pass her NQT year, and Emma's just finishing her PGCE, but she's already part of the family. They're all under Pete's wing and his scrutiny. Yes, I think there's rigour on the school's part and there's a need to monitor because that, that's the bottom line. We, are, we need to ensure that there is quality teaching and learning going on in our school. I'd like to think that I treat new teachers in a very similar way to I teach pupils at the school, just to make sure that I show an interest and support and help where I can. I mean, as far as the PGCE uh, year is concerned, we get something in the region of 20 to 25 trainees across the, across the year. Emma Woodcock did her second placement here and has already been offered a job for next year. You're going to watch a clip of Shakespeare in Love and you need to write down a list of things that you see going on in the street, all right? So you need to be having a look at everything you can see. Joe Plummer was Emma's mentor on her PGCE placement. Their relationship will continue when Emma starts full-time work here in the autumn. So the second half of the lesson, we um, are going to write a diary extract. And you are going to write it as an Elizabethan, all right? Describing your journey through the streets of London that we've just seen in the footage, all the way to the theatre. The focus wasn't on the plot of, the, of Shakespeare in Love. I literally wanted them to look at the settings and surroundings and um, the costumes and how the characters behaved and I hope it was a good clip to show them. So who can tell me, what's Elizabethan? Yes. Uh, I was someone who was around during the reign of Queen Elizabeth. Excellent. Superb. Well done. Excellent answer. She's much better at praise now, but it's very general and there's not enough time and I think that may be slightly the situation today to check their understanding mm. and therefore there were quite a few hands up. Mm. that she could have av avoided some of that. Right, right. So I'm going to set those to as targets. Well, that's something certainly to, well I mean, in the long run, that's something we can work yeah. on, isn't it? Joe is a skilled mentor anyway. I think I try and promote the positive working relationship with mentor and mentee. I'm going to give you ten minutes to start off with, and then we might hear a few. All right, well done, guys. Lovely atmosphere already. The, from the moment they came in, and you, your attitude to them was so welcoming, they were relaxed, and that came out because of the feedback. Do you know what you need to do? Well, you might be excited because you found a penny or something, so you can go to your fit. That would be brilliant. So if you were a bit poor and you found a penny on the street, which meant you could go, that's a lovely idea. And I also thought that all the tasks flowed on very naturally to each other. And when she feeds back, she always tells me the really positive things first, so I feel really good. And then she sort of gently slips in things that weren't so good. What would you say you felt didn't work quite as well? I think something I could have done is gone to pupils um, if they didn't necessarily have their hand up, so that I could include everyone in the lesson. I, th I think you did that really well, I think going round. Um, and really, that's where it, it didn't quite fit in with your time. Some of them were missing it a little bit, right. you know, what they were waiting. And had you then read out, like Damini's suggestion about the fine, or, or your suggestion about finding the penny, mm -hmm. and so enabling her to go, mm -hmm. you could have then said, oh, Damini's had a really good idea. Right. What about if you suddenly found a penny? Or, ooh, Joe's had an awful idea. He's got just been missed by some bathwater. Uh -huh. or, or get them to read it out. They, they don't have to read out a lot, yeah. but just to stimulate those things going on. I think that would have helped break up but, the lesson yeah. and kept them a bit more focused on it. What I've tried to do when I'm thinking about targets today is I'm also thinking about when you're starting next year, because right. I'm going to be mentoring you next year. When Emma joins next year's NQT group, she'll learn to be a mentor herself. This year's cohort are role-playing to start getting to grips with being on the other side of the relationship. Part of the induction programme for the newly qualified teachers is that we will meet on a regular basis. Every teacher within the school, their first year of teaching, does stage one mentoring. You've said 
positive, 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 positive. However, let's make it a target. So it's going down then as a target, yeah. and you've set it as a target, so it can't really be overlooked. As a mentee, I would appreciate the positive things, even like it coming out of the negative things as well. You've got people who are two terms, two and a half terms into teaching, and they're already starting to think about how can they support colleagues next year. So I think it is building that whole support process that I think, you know, I think we feed from each other. We don't get to see each other very much because we're in different subject areas. So it is really nice when we see each other at the meetings uh, and kind of around school, we kind of go third term, can you believe it? It is easy to forget sometimes um, that you're in induction, but, but um, it, no, it, it is important, I think, because you can't just be thrown in after training. You know, the PGCE training is by no means exhaustive. It's actually really important to have more training while you're on the job more with your regular timetable. It's good to know that there's people there just checking that everything's all right. It's a nice safety net for the first year. It does make you feel kind of really well supported. Pete puts his NQTs through more than just the statutory induction process. Every NQT in the school is required to have a total of seven observations. Now on top of that, I like to observe the NQTs at least twice, and in some cases three times during the course of the year. I'd like you to see if you can find what the French words are for those words there in the yellow box, okay? That's their first year of French at school, and obviously their third term as well. We're learning about hobbies, free time, sports and things at the moment. J'adore le foot. J'aime le j'aime le snooker. Je n'ai pas le tennis, je teste le danse. Très bien. Finalement, encore une, elle est. J'adore la gymnastique, j'aime le tennis. Actually, I thought for a couple of years, seven kids that, that did the reading, I thought they did a pretty sound job, yeah, really, because yeah, no, it was good, quite... Yeah, they're good, they're good. I mean, they all say that they don't really like French that much, but I always quite enjoy their lessons, so I don't know why. <laughs> well, just occasionally, I thought there was a little bit of off-task. Yeah. Conversation when 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 some of the kids were answering questions. There's respect for you when you're speaking. I just sometimes I think that listen. occasionally it's just listening when the other kids are talking. What we're going to do is have a little game of battleships. So if you can take your sheet, there should be enough for one each on each table. J'adore le rugby. Je n'aime pas le tennis. Tell me about how you feel in terms of the resources for next year. There's Year 7 French folder, mm. Year 7 German folder, and in every folder then there is a flip chart, colours, numbers, hobbies, sports. Mm. So, yes, I will hopefully reuse them next year. You can pack away, but you need to have your book open on the page where your homework is. Oh. So I've got kind of the first two terms done and dusted and signed off and I've got the last one in the process of finishing now and the report's kind of due in at the end of the month and then, fingers crossed, that will be um, the NQT year done. All of a sudden you realise you're going into the second year of your career and we very much focus on progress and targets and continually moving forward so you're not ever allowed to kind of just stagnate. Tom, let's go, mate. Hurry up at the back, please. Okay, Adam, can you put yours on the base here? Charlie. Um, I arrived from uh, Canada three years ago with the intention of just coming over for a year. You know, I've stayed for three and a half years now. Um, basically, I think if you're in the UK for four years, you have to be a qualified teacher. Mike's completing his overseas trained teacher qualification and he's working towards um, completing not only the standards that are required by somebody who, who is on a postgraduate certificate course but also within one year he's also completing as if he were an NQT so he's doing two sets of standards in the one year. You've got five laps when you're done you're gonna come into here back to the same line let's go. What was your warm-up tell me a warm-up. I set up the rounders field and then I just I got them doing five laps of it but just doing various movements so shuffle steps uh, sprinting shuffling both ways yeah. and then a walk recovery. That's it fellas two more please. I guess the idea for me was just to get them warmed up get the pulse raised but also 
in their head, get them used to running outside those bases. Oh, I thought it was very effective use of the of the space you were using because there's nothing worse than just send a bunch of kids running around a field. Yeah. So I think it was it was effective in that part. Maybe think about even at that early stage grouping them yeah. so that Matt maybe runs for a similar distance, but he's not going to run as far perhaps as one no, or two no, of your no. high retainers. Okay. Yeah. So maybe 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 kick off from that. While you're betting, I want you to really think about watching everybody in your group. I want you to think about their grip, their body position, and you're going to get a rounders bat. And if you feel like you need somebody in your group might need a tennis racket to help you hit the ball, you're going to get a tennis racket, OK? Some of the work you do with the lower retainers, I think, is very effective. Um, your differentiation in terms of you use different bats and yeah. uh, different weighted bats, but also tennis rackets for the youngsters who are struggling. How do you make sure that you, and how, like today, how did you make sure that the higher, higher retainers yeah. did move things on? I think that's probably something I could have worked on more. Um, I think there's probably three boys in that class who are very high ability who probably should be batting with those black bats. Um, but it's not something I've pushed on them. Okay, gentlemen, you need to come in here, please, and have a seat with your group. You've got 10 seconds. Okay, I want you guys, within one minute, to decide what you think three key points of batting are, and then you're going to feed it back to the other groups. Keep your eyes on your group. Eyes on the ball. Proper swing and bang. Yeah. Hold it tightly so it don't fly out your hand when you're going to hit it. Yeah. Follow through. Follow through. I thought there was some really good use of question and answer with the youngsters. Maybe just buzz around and get one from each one right. from each group. Yeah. So you'll Send you'll have out. yeah that's right. You'll have covered all the bases. You'll have got literally you'll have got all the, the, the youngsters input. Okay. And maybe then you back out again. Just yeah. gives them a little bit longer with the hitting. And, and no that's probably a good idea because we are pushed for time in the lessons. Good. It's my fifth overseas trained teacher that I've sort of taken through this programme. They're not all as organised as, as, um, as the best and so therefore I think it's, I, I meet with him every two weeks so we have that meeting, we go through his portfolio, if there are gaps in the standards then it's my job to make sure that those, those standards are met. Okay, so Ash, you're going to drop back and drop If I said to you portfolio, how's that coming on? It's more organisation now because I've just been gathering a lot of evidence <clears throat> and now it's, I think I've got to sit through and, and find out exactly where I am short for some of the standards. Um, but I'm pretty confident, like I said, I've got two good sized folders now. Safe. One run in, go Fred, go Fred, go Fred. I don't think it's a box ticking exercise. I think it's important that, uh, that we recognise that teaching in England, in, in London in particular, brings its own challenges. Wicked. Okay, boys, good job. Rotate. It was a really good lesson we saw this morning, but there were still snippets in terms of, I'd say, in terms of subject knowledge that need to be picked up on. Good man, go Matt, go Matt, go, He's go, go, tremendous go, go. with the students. And I'm confident come the, f the 7th of July that he hopefully will get his OTT. I think it's my fifth year teaching and it's probably the most reflection I've had to do as a teacher. It's been probably the hardest year I've had teaching because it's been a lot of paperwork, but it's been probably the most positive year. With regards to the NQT year, I think it's something like the 16th of July we're going to meet for the first time. It's nice to share experiences in that induction and meet your new colleagues because you know you're all going through the same thing. Okay. I think there are teachers out there who do maybe have unrealistically high expectations of BTs and NQTs and don't have as much tolerance for the learning process. So I think that is a lot to do with personality. Uh, so very lucky here.